Ulus are exceptional chopping knives with a variety of uses. However, they often come with this tiny wooden display stand which I find absolutely impractical. I don't display my knives. When I'm done using my ulu, I want to be able to throw it in the drawer until the next time that I need it. Therefore, I'm going to need a sheath. So let's get started. We're going to start this project by tracing an outline of the ulu on a piece of cardstock here. Go completely around the edges. Make sure to go all the way around, including this inside part here. And there we go. I'm actually even going to trace the handle just so that I've got a a little bit more to work with. And there we are. We've got the basic outline of our ulu. From this, we're going to be able to make our case fairly simply. The next thing that I'm going to do here is take my wing divider. I have it set at approximately 12 millimeters, and I'm just going around the outside edge, putting little marks on my cardstock. And that's going to give me just enough space for me to create my welt around the outside of the blade. So next, it's basically just a matter of connecting the dots. And I connect all those little marks that I've made using my pencil here. And this will give me the outline of my sheath. Next, part of my plan is to have a strap that comes through the opening there right below the handle. And for that, I'm just going to kind of freehand this a little bit, extend that out, and that's going to flip down just like that. It'll make sense once I get this cut out. So there we have the basic outline of our sheath, and you can see how that strap slides through there and it's going to fold over. Now all we have to do is transfer this to a piece of leather, and we'll be good to go. So here's the pattern transferred to the leather, making sure to do the opposite facing sides so that you have a clean top and a clean bottom. Now all we need is the welt to go in between those two pieces there. And that's going to be remarkably simple because we've already got that outlined here on our template. So what we're going to do is cut this out. And then what we end up with is the perfect outline of our welt. Now I just transfer this to some leather, cut it out, and all of our pieces will be ready to be assembled. So here we go. This is what it looks like. We've got our top piece, our welt here, which of course will have to be trimmed down a little bit. And the ulu itself will fit in there, something like that. We'll have our little strap come through the opening. We'll keep everything nice and secure. So let's start getting this assembled. But before we get this assembled, I'm going to show you a quick cutaway of what this would look like on the inside. So you can see how the blade sits against the welt there, just like that. That way it won't cut the threads when we stitch that. And then we have the strap here that's going to fit through something like that. Again, this will all make sense as it starts to come together. As you can see, I've traced out the welt on the inside of both pieces of the leather. And I did that because I was thinking about using contact cement so that I knew exactly where the contact cement needed to go. But I've got a better idea. See, usually I would use this type of contact cement for something like this, but I'm going to try something a little bit different today. I use this occasionally. And what this is is called Permacel. It's a very thin two-sided tape. And all this is doing is just holding the pieces in place long enough for me to punch the stitch line and then sew everything. This isn't about creating a permanent bond. So in an application like this, this type of tape is perfect. And I trust everybody knows how tape works. Even two-sided tape, as complicated as it might be. You just cut off the size pieces that you need, put them in place, remove the back side of the tape, and you can just kind of stick everything together. We have the welt attached to the 
top piece of the sheath. And now I will simply stick all this together. And that'll give me a solid piece to work with as I move forward. So there we go. Everything is held together. And I have grooved out the stitch line. Let's get that punched. There we go. I'm using five millimeter spacing for the stitch line on that. Everything turned out very nice. The next step will be to stitch this together. But before I do that, I'm going to dye this. So here you can see the project is all dyed up. Looking pretty good. Again, it's gonna need a lot of trim work still, but at least it's ready to be stitched. So here we go. I got the stitch line completely done. Just used a straight line saddle stitch with that, as is typical with so many of these types of projects. Very easy stitch to do, holds very tightly. Next, it's just a matter of sanding down all the edges, getting them a little bit smoother. Again, everything's gonna be finished, clean and nice. But for now, at least all the edges match, and we're making some serious progress with this. So here we are, all the edges are now dyed. Again, not finished, just dyed. Everything's matching. And let's go ahead and do a test fit. So here we go, we will slide the ulu into place and push our strap through there. That still has to be cut to size, obviously. But immediately I notice that I've got a lot of slop in this. I'll show you, see? the knife moves around. And I can't have that. So I will take this back out of here. And I've actually already marked some spots here that are gonna need to be cut out. And this is just another one of those instances where you have to realize that when you're doing leather work, never be afraid to customize on the fly. So here you can see I have cut that section out. We will Test fit the ulu again. And with that strap pulled tight, that thing's not gonna budge. Got rid of all that slop. I'm very happy with that. Now all we need to do is finish all the edges, put a closure on here, and we're gonna be darn near finished with this project. So on the strap here, I put a keyhole punch, and I'm gonna be using one of these little studs here on the face of the sheath itself. We'll get all that put into place, and this is what it looks like. Pops together, very nice. No big bulky snaps. I think that turned out really good. Now it's time to finish up all the edges, get a little bit of wax on this thing, and we will be just about done. There we go, all the edges are finished and waxed. Everything's looking very clean. I'm sure it's not 100% perfect, but you'll have that when doing any type of custom leather work. Overall, I think it turned out really nice. Let's get one final fit and see how this thing turned out. Before I finished, I applied a Atom Wax leather balm on there, brought out a nice sheen on everything, and will help protect the leather, at least just a little bit. We will slip the ulu into place. Bring that little flap through there. Pop that on. There we go. Rock solid. Now I don't have to hesitate about tossing this in a drawer. When I'm done using it, it'll be well protected. So overall, I think this case turned out very well. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Hopefully it gave you some ideas of how you can create a case or sheath for your Ulu. If it did, hey, you know I'd appreciate that thumbs up like. And maybe, just maybe, I'll see you on the next video. If you enjoy videos about the randomness of our amazing world, consider clicking on the globe to subscribe, or maybe checking out one of the other videos right here.